Folks, thank you so much for joining us on IWTV to check this out. We have our one last match. It's main event time, Blackwell. We are we are going to be blessed with the ECW ROH legend, HC. It's a family show. I can't finish how it's actually said, but Loke in the building. That's right. Vinny Chenzo has a, a very good opportunity to prove himself in a medium that, uh, that, that many people believe that he has been flourishing in recently, but this is going to be a way to cement himself as a hardcore wrestler. Yeah, and he, he has been taking aim at a lot of former ECW legends themselves, and uh, H.C. Loke is just getting added to that list. Genzo not caring about entrance music. He's coming down whether you want him or so or not. He's got his little monster and he's ready to fight. Try more to miss Percival Maluga. Or Morty. Let's just call him Morty. With him at all times. Now coming to the ring. Who needs no introduction and no music. Wrestling out of the I was gushing over H.C. Loke, but uh, Vinny is not someone to sleep on. This guy is a monster and knows how to get into a fight. All right, coming to the ring next. I charge $50 extra if I have to be beatboxed. His opponent. I'm taking a collection. <laughs> And 22 has been the year of H.C. Loke. He has been working and working and working. I don't think there's a poster I haven't seen him on in a long time. That's right. He's all over the place. I, I don't. I, I talked to him earlier. I said I wasn't sure if it was a renaissance for independent wrestling uh, uh, altogether or a renaissance for his career. But he's been busier than ever. And man, this is just so cool because I've been able to call a lot of his stuff lately. And I used to. I went to see him throw some raver kids off the top of a cage in Elizabeth, New Jersey, back in the mid 2000s. H.C. Loke has some history, man. He's awesome, man. It, it's an honor to call his matches. I think this is my second one I've called to him, and uh, I can't believe it's still a thing. He's, he's an absolute legend, and he looks fantastic. That's right. He, we've, we've called action for him many times at the sanctuary. Uh, he, he has a, a slew of students that he's been passing on his knowledge down to, and many of them, like uh, TJ Epics, Chael Connors, uh, uh, um, uh, Seer and Rain, uh, finding excellent success on the independent scene as well. And you can see that not only is he an excellent wrestler, but he's an excellent teacher too. Yeah, he's bringing up the future professional wrestling one one class at a time and H.C. Loke is someone to great to get to uh, get that knowledge from. Right, he's helping with the professional wrestling future, but what is in store for the future of Vinicenzo here? These two guys are about to tear each other apart. Yeah, Vinicenzo has no fear. He does not see H.C. Loke across the ring. He oh. sees his next opponent. Right, as you were mentioning earlier, this is just this is nothing but another notch on Vinny Chenzo's belt. He's taken out. He's been in the ring with many uh, former ECW originals, and this is just a, the next one. Is, is what he's been uh, saying. And the hardcore style match is something that Vinny Chenzo is being uh, has been very good at lately. You can go back into. Uh, uh, Sandalow Wrestling and Pro Wrestling After Dark uh, Library here on IWTV and find violence for the sake of when he went up against Satu Jin, the uh, deathmatch genie, who of course granted his deathmatch. That sounds Wish. terrifying. <laughs> oh! And that's, and that's Pro Wrestling After Dark, right? Yes, uh, and, uh, along with Sandalow Wrestling. AC Low giving him a tour of the ring. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, raining them down, getting the crowd to count along with them. Please don't say anything about New Jerseyans being able to count, Blackwell. <laughs> let, me cut, let me cut you off before you, you say it. <laughs> you beat me to it, Pete. You Magnavit. beat me to it. 
AC low. No one had to work the crowd here. Like I said, what a, 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 a year he's been having. He's having a blast. And don't get it twisted. He's, he's laughing. He's having a great time. He's playing to the crowd. But you still do not want to make AC Loke angry. No, certainly not. As he holds Vincenzo up there. Letting him think about it. And bringing him crashing down to the canvas hard. The crowd was starting to count how long they're up there. And they were stuttering past six. That's why Loke had to bring him down. <laughs> Blackwell. Uh-oh. He just asked the crowd if they want to get hardcore. Well, I Pete, I will say one thing. I, out of my matches I've called of HC Loke, I've never called a hardcore match. Well, well, you're about to be... Oh, here we go! We have a door in the ring. Bringing out the plunder from underneath the ring. I saw him fooling with uh, the apron and, and going underneath the ring earlier today. I guess he was setting up his uh, his toys. Oh, Chenzo turning it around. Loke, stopping quick. Oh, oh high, high angle Saito suplex takes Chenzo down hard. And Chenzo gets out of there quick. He doesn't want anymore. He needs a break, but HC Loke. He's taking chase. I'll tell you what. Everyone's got to be sitting here going, how does how does HC Loke, what fountain of youth has HC Loke found to to, uh, to appear like he's a young man here again? But I think it's that training. I think him taking on the younger talent and teaching them has revitalized him. That's right, like, like an old dog hanging out with puppies kind of make uh, gives the old dog some more uh, energy. Keeps I think he's him going. asking for a drink. Oh, it's iced tea. Oh, my God. That's New Jersey sweet tea. You know how much sugar is in that? I thought that was just their water. Where he belongs? Where's that? Oh, no. Oh, he's going to the porta potty. No, please. Oh, God. Please don't go to the porta potty. I did horrible things in that brown one. There's a, There's been a line in both of those all night. Oh, no. They already sectioned one of them off because it's at max capacity. Please, no. That was after I left it. H.C. Loke and Vincenzo taking this to a place that I hoped it wouldn't go. I hope they wash their hands. There's a little thing of uh, hand sanitizer over there. I'm sure they took a dip. H.C. <laughs> Loke in firm control here. The Shore Star fans are following him around the building. Is he, he's bringing him around and allowing members of the crowd to give him a noogie. That's, I think that's what I saw. <laughs> I, I can't see. There's that's people what I'm everywhere. hoping it was. That would be great if that's what it was. So I'm just going to go with it. Slamming his head right off of the apron of the ring. And now we have a steel chair. None of these uncomfortable plastic chairs here. HC Loke found the real deal. Where, where was that sitting? I needed that. I still do. <laughs> I never thought I'd see someone just smiling while he's having a hardcore match, but that is HC Loke. This is where HC Loke thrives, folks. We've seen we've seen Loke be in these kind of matches and just enjoy himself to no end. But Shenzo knew what he was getting himself into, no matter what happens. Shenzo now set up behind that chair. Loke's got something very specific in mind here. Now off the ropes. Here we go. Oh, moves at the last moment. Oh! Sends it careening into the face of H.C. Loke. Shenzo finds his mark. Hits him with that very comfortable chair. Don't break that one. I, I need that for, for Labor Day weekend. Labor Day Classic coming up September 3rd right here. At the No Limits Boxing Academy, Shore Star Wrestling returns. That's if they don't kick us out of the building because HC Loke and and uh, and Vinny here tear the place apart. That's right. Family friendly. Keep it still. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Nasty headbutt right into the nose. That'll bust you open easily. 
And now setting up the chair and, and choking H.C. Lope while he sits in the front row seat while someone is off at the uh, concession stand getting themselves a nice frosty beverage. Lope now being sent back into the ring. Shenzo coming into his own here. He's looking for a tag. I still think he's I think he's still part thinking of the tag team match in ROH. Uh-oh. I think we uh I think I think uh HC Lope I think he's bleeding a little bit. Uh, well it wouldn't surprise me. And Shenzo, you can see the demeanor has changed a bit. Now that he sees, he senses that he's in control. H.C. Loke's been in so many wars, a, a cool breeze can bust him open. That scar tissue just reopens on the forehead. Chenzo years knew it. and years of legendary wars of H.C. Loke. And now Chenzo taking his spot, waiting for the right moment. Goes to the PK kick. Connected right in the chest. I can hear all the way from over here, H.C. Loke struggling to breathe. He's biting him. Shenzo digging his teeth into the scalp of A.C. Loke. Oh! Head first into that garbage can. Oh, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can somebody please go over and stabilize? We might have to stand up here too, Pete. Can everyone chase the action down? Shenzo up top on the, on the high rise. The scaffolding. No! Oh, huge cross body block to the floor. Shenzo hurt himself as well, but man, did he do a heck of a lot of damage to H.C. Loke. Jumping off of that, that high rise, the scaffolding system. Wait a minute, H.C. Oh. Loke firing back now. Ugh. It looks like a high school fight out here, Pete. Everyone circled around them. Two rival teams, the, the, the game is over, and now the real fight begins. There's cell phone videos that look like a world star hip hop video out here, Pete. Maybe you should uh, record a little bit of this for your Tornado oh! Tag Podcast uh, uh, TikTok channel. One of the Loke's students was going for a super kick and he missed the mark and hit his trainer. <laughs> Benny Chenzel back in control now, continuing the onslaught on HC Loke, the ECW original, looking to make him yet another statistic. In that well-known history of Vincenzo taking on ECW Originals. I got to give it to Vinny though. No fear in this guy. He, he, H.C. Lope walked out. That just motivated him. And look at now Vincenzo now trying to rearrange the facial features of H.C. Lope. I'll tell you what. If you told me I had to fight H.C. Lope, I, I think I'd have car problems on my way to the arena. And I, no one would blame you, Blackwell. And now Loke is in a bad way. Now you see the blood dripping down the face. Vinny Chenzo, before you saw him picking, look like skin and blood up from underneath his nails. This is gross stuff. Now trying to squeeze the life out of the ECW original. Yeah, he, he's he put in that choke, which making the blood just rush from H.C. Loke's head. It is like a monsoon in here. It's like they open up the, ele the elevators in The Shining. Oof. Peppering Chenzo with shots. Big old elbow to the top of the skull. H.C. Loke feeling that momentum. The adrenaline pumping through his veins. Heading outside of the ring once again. What's he looking for? Uh oh. Careful, those are rentals. Well, I don't think they're getting the deposit back on these. Two of the chairs brought inside. H.C. Loke. That's two. That's two less we have to clean up later. Oh no. Now you saw those bright white chairs. The blood dripping onto them. H.C. Loke leaving his mark. <laughs> the one chair has a bloody handprint on the seat. It looks like Wilson from the from Castaway. Now setting that door up between those chairs. Vinny Chenzo can't even get up to his feet. H.C. Loke calling for the end. Crowd. 
crowd wants to see it. And who is H.C. Lopes to keep the crowd from getting what they want? Oh, Vincenzo, he's, he locked the legs. Oh! Turning it around, reversing that suplex away from the door. Survival Instinct kicks in. Which is going to open open the opportunity for Vincenzo to get... Oh, no! The door not holding the weight of H.C. Lowe. Vincenzo is not deterred. Vincenzo is going to kill him. Vincenzo, oh! Chopped to the back. Oh, God. Setting him up in, in that broken, mangled mass is H.C. Loke. He's still got half a door that he can crush him through. <laughs> Crazy old man! Huge! He's like Logan. Old man Logan. Oh, the two count. Vinny kicks out. And you gotta wonder if that table held up if Chenzo went through the uh, the full force of that door, would this be over? But still, the elevated state of Vinny Chenzo gave a, a different kind of impact for that elbow drop. <laughs> the bloody door being taken out. Fireman's carry position, Chenzo fighting out though. He sneaks through, body oh, shot. Oh, oh no! Side slam through that chair, goes for the cover! Oh, two count. Oh, immediately attacks the, 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 the damaged head. That chair is a mangled mess. What is he going for? He's taking something off. Wait, he's got... Pulling something off of Morty. It's a fanny pack. I don't think there's merch in that, Pete. What is that, Maniac? Oh, oh no. But I know that glimmer and shimmer from anywhere. That ain't glitter. That's thumbtacks. The odd soul has just changed the face of this match. I don't know if H.C. Logan has even seen what's behind him now. Well, they better get some needle-nose pliers in the back ready because we're going to be picking thumbtacks out of somebody here tonight. Chenzo ascending the ropes. Pulling Luke back. Oh, he's got a hold of the jewels. Oh, no. Chenzo. Oh, my God. Crashing back first into those thumbtacks. Looking like a human pin cushion. The stainless steel of those tacks ripping flesh, sending Vincenzo to a familiar place. Will it wake him up or will that mean the end of Vincenzo at the hands of H.C. Lope? They got the ref, get out of the way! Oh! oh no. Vincenzo repays the favor, going low. That's gonna do it! Whoa, whoa. Vinny Chenzo adds another ECW legend to his belt, getting a huge win over HC Loke at the very first Shore Star Wrestling event, Monsoon. Rio Grande, New Jersey just saw Vinny Chenzo prove to the world that he is able to make statistics out of ECW legend after ECW legend. He's calling for a mic. Please don't give a microphone to Vinny Chenzo. HC low craps that mic. Hey, you You are correct about that. Show of respect. Always good to see it. I got blood streaming from my head. I got snot streaming from my nose. I'm sorry about that. I've been in this business for nearly 28 years. You understand what that means? I'm sure this young man is 28 years old. I've been doing this for two or three lifetimes. And I appreciate you all supporting me and supporting Short Stars Wrestling. Here it is. We thank you, H.C. Thank you. 
I still think you're a chicken shit. I'm sorry, folks, but you saw what you got, right? <laughs> but you're a hell of a competitor, and I don't take nothing away from you. But tonight, I got a six-hour drive home, folks. I came here just to see you all. I'm not going to the back. I'm going to go over there. I want to meet each and every one of you. Let's take a picture. Let's sign an autograph. Let's make some memories. Show us that wrestling. Please help. I kind of want a bloody head HC Low selfie. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Pete, thank you so much.